and welcome to another review on the Green Giant Tactical YouTube channel. Uh, today I'll be covering the other aspect of face protection, I've already covered eye protection. So um, when you first go to a site you'll first be given a cheap face protector, plastic visor etc. That covers your entire face, akin to what you'd expect paintball players to be wearing. Uh, we can have much better options. Uh, the most obvious of being well, you've already covered mesh goggles, so why not have a mesh lower? And this is what I have here. This is more than adequate for protecting your face. Um, well, it's this particular model by Hero Shark. Uh, it has ear defenders and so on. Uh, you can get it in two versions, but I opted for the more expensive one. With the Hero Shark model, these are actually custom made to the dimensions of your face, taking the measurement from the top of your nose down to the chin and then from the side of there, across the nose, and round the side again. Uh, that produces a semi-accurate representation. If you go to him yourself, in person, he can get a better measuring because he knows what he's actually looking for. But unfortunately, when I bought these, I was about 700 miles away from him, so it wasn't particularly practical to do for a 60 quid face mask. Um, this is solid mesh. You can s so. It's flexible enough that you can conform it to your face over a period of time. It's nice and it's got nice rubbing strips over the mesh to stop it from itching and scratching the face and so on. Um, but it's not going to flex so much that when a BB hits it, it's going to deform. This, as you can see by all the bare metal through the paint, has been taking a lot of hits. Because um, for some reason, people have a tendency to shoot at my head. I uh, wonder why that is. Uh, you've got, on this version, the ear defenders are what strap actually holds it on. Uh, and then you've got push clips on the side, so snap clip off, snap clip off, and then it pulls away. Which means that it's relatively easy to get on and off, uh, but you can also get, well you do also get straps with it that allow you to just connect the face mask but I have an alternative way of doing which I'll show you in a minute. Um, basically, to put this on, uh, grab the sides, position the face mask over, bring that round, and this is much easier to do with the camera because you can actually see what you're doing. Um, but basically, okay. And then what I do with the strap is bring it forward because then it balances out it's not the most practical of looks, but it gets the job done. And then over the top of that, then you bring in your goggles as well, and then you're fully enclosed. When you're putting the goggles in, do try and make sure that you've got the goggles underneath the mesh, because that will prevent BBs from bouncing up and under the lens. And there you go. Completely covered, mesh top to bottom. Then all you just need to do is cover your head. Uh, there are a lot of trailing straps, you could probably trim those down, it's not ideal. But then I've got full motion movement, you can see I can still talk, I can still... Well, I have at times had a uh, water tube come up the side so I can drink as well, so I needn't take this off while I'm in game. Um, again, you've got the ear defenders at the side which are nice and solid, doesn't feel uncomfortable, which is a plus side. but because of the way I run when I'm playing, I actually don't have all of this on my back. So I'll just call the ear defenders off and the goggles off. Just fix that. Right. So put those ear defenders outside. What I'll do instead is if I could actually find the thing I was going to use. Um, basically, I've got a, a cloth hood which goes over and I can just put the in the chin there and just have it attached over so the material is all that's holding it in place because then I can freely move it, remove it if I need to i.e. if I'm shouldering a weapon I can't quite get close enough into the scope to make a shot I'll just move this out of the way temporarily then I can put it back again that makes life a lot easier um, you, you could theoretically do this with a cheap mesh face mask but it's much better when this is actually fitted to your face and you know it can well, squish down. There you go, squishing down. 
that's much narrower than my face anyway, so you can see it already balances off to the, my shooting side because it's already flexing even better on that, that's because it's constantly resting against the rifle. Um, other than that, yeah, solid mesh, good price, he'll do uh, in whatever paint scheme you want. I kind of went for MTP at the time, it's kind of faded down, so it's more like a, well, it actually kind of works with the camera on in at the moment, which is great until next month. Um, but, well, so, if you want good cheap, I say cheap, I uh, mean a good, reliable face mask, don't go with Sharp. I don't trust cheap mesh. Again, for the same reason as the goggles, cheap goggles, which are made of mesh, are undoubtedly made on a production run, not really looking for safety, more just to make money. So, this is definitely going to do the job. Um, this has been shot point blank by a hot, rifle, a hot bolt rifle as well, so... Um, I know it's not going to penetrate with BB, but the BB is more like shatter. And when it does shatter, it doesn't shatter through, which is the key point, because that's why it's got all the, I can get it in shot, it's got ridging all the way through to stop it from shattering through. So this is, even then, the mesh is still considerably smaller than even a half a BB, so it's not going to shatter through anyway. The same applies with the other mesh you put them in yet, so always make sure. So. That was my face mask, Hero Shark. Um, I'll put the name and the link in the footer. Oh, so, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.